guys welcome to my channel Mondi here if you're new here thank you for subscribing and to all my returning subscribers i really appreciate the support so on this channel we discuss fragrance and everything that is related to fragrance so if that's your type of content please subscribe uh, i haven't posted in recent times and i've deleted some of my videos because I just wasn't in the mental state to do YouTube. I wasn't even watching a lot of my uh, videos on YouTube because I just wasn't there. Maybe one day I'll talk about it. I actually filmed a video trying to address it, but I ended up becoming emotional, so I let that go. But uh, today's fragrance video is going to be about office appropriate fragrances. So if you guys would like to hear that, then please keep watching and before i go further i'd like to say i know everyone should wear what they want when they want and it's a free world but having uh, worn fragrance a lot the past year has actually shown me the reason why such videos about fragrance uh fragrances that are appropriate for work are actually important because i used to be one of those people who skip such videos whenever i'm watching videos so yeah so if that interests you please keep watching so guys i have 10 fragrances to show you today and they are all coming from different price points meaning there's something for everyone out there and they are from different they can be worn in different seasons some can be worn all year round and the these fragrances uh share a common characteristics which make them appropriate for any workplace and the the first characteristic that these fragrances share is that they are generally very inoffensive they're not very unique so you won't uh, offend anyone even those who are in close proximity to you then these fragrances last at least five hours on my skin at least they last at least five hours and some even last longer than that so meaning they can uh, at least last you up to half uh, midday uh, depending on your shift then the other thing about these fragrances is that they do not project too much so perfect for you you will not uh, be too loud your perfume will not be too loud and i feel like that's the one thing that makes um people get offended in workplaces when you have a very loud perfume some of them are loud but then it depends on the number of sprays that you have done and i'm going to mention when i get to that those particular perfumes so we get to the first perfume so the first fragrance that i'm going to talk about is flower bomb by victor and rob so flower balm is perfect for an office girl it's a perfect scent for a corporate girl who, who's earning enough because this perfume uh, retails for over a hundred pounds so it's not easy for everyone to just buy and even if you had a lot of money I don't think it's a perfume that you'd want to wear maybe for field work like if you're a field worker so uh, it's a very nice perfume it's a very floral slightly sweet woody and powdery perfume i have re really worn this a lot this uh, winter i got it midwinter and i really love this perfume so the top notes of this perfume are tea bergamot and osmanthus then in the middle you have orchid uh, jasmine and rose then in the base you have patchouli mask and vanilla so the florals in this perfume are well blended in with the other notes i know most people uh, maybe might be scared of uh, trying this perfume because of the name yes it's a very floral perfume but the way it's blended makes it easy for even non-floral perfume lovers to really love this perfume and it's one that you do you just have to sniff at some point it's a classic so this perfume now the season i would say is it's perfect to wear is that i would say you can wear it all year round however do not wear it in excess heat i made the mistake i used to have a mini of this and i made the mistake of wearing it um to work when it was very hot actually it gets uh, beyond 32 degrees celsius in western province so i used to wear it then 
and this one time i wore it it was around 10 a.m and i was being picked up by the work vehicle to go for field work and then i could the minute i entered the vehicle i my colleague started sneezing so i just felt so uncomfortable and that that person is a very sensitive person to perfume so be careful with this one in excess heat but i'd say you can wear it all year round uh, the longevity on this is very good as well on my skin i get um six hours six hours uh, minimum on my skin and i am one who oversprays. so when i spray it i spray it on my skin i also spray it on my clothes and i'm able to smell it on my clothes even after days later like when i remove it from since the time maybe when i wore it when doing my laundry i'm able to smell it so it's got very good longevity and the only downside with this perfume i'll say is the price point i i got this for a steal so if you can get it for a steal i'd say go for it but if you can't get it for a steal i'd say get something else it's very nice but the price point to me is not justified so that's flower bomb by victor in rough so while we are still on the uh, florals i'd like to talk about the next one and that is uh, gucci flora generally florals are likable they are not especially when they are not very they are mixed in with other notes and they're not too floral i find them very likable so gucci flora is a, it's a slightly uh, fresh and citrusy perfume it's sweet as well it's got some fruity notes it's also a bit uh, spicy to me and it lasts long yeah this this smell, smells expensive this and flower bomb really just uh speak money like whenever people smell you they'll say oh yeah that woman smells very good and this one smells similar to chance edp so if you can't afford chance edp i'd say go for gucci flora because it's um it's less pricey and i'd and if you can get it from uh, discount stores I'd say it's worth the price uh, so with uh, Gucci Flora it lasts moderately on my skin I get about six hours and this is an all-year-round scent it's an scent you can wear in whichever weather and whenever I spray it I spray everywhere on my skin on my clothes and it lasts at least six hours that is for my skin so this perfume has top notes of peony citruses mandarin orange and has middle notes of osmanthus and rose then in the base it has sandalwood patchouli and a uh, pink pepper so as i say this is perfect for any work uh, setting and the fact that it is not very expensive i don't think anyone would feel uh, bad to wear it anywhere so the price point is perfect as well so if you're looking for that nice classy a bit sexy type of perfume i'd say go for gucci flora so still on the florals uh but on for on the more affordable side of it we have kim kardashian signature this is uh, kim kardashian by kim kardashian it's a very nice tuberous perfume it's a bit woody it's a bit powdery to me i have only worn this i think three times and it lasted pretty long on my skin i also hit the clothes as well and this lasted for about five hours and then i when i got back home for lunch i sprayed it again yeah this smells very good and you guys know i don't like florals but this smells good so this is an all year round scent to me it's an all year round and can be worn i wouldn't say by uh, teenagers i feel like this is a grown woman scent it's a scent that maybe someone who's 20 21 years and up can wear yeah okay so the top notes of this perfume are honeysuckle african orange flower mandarin orange then in the middle we have tuberose tuberose is the very prominent note in here and i like that they just mixed it in with the, some other white flowers and then it also has gardenia jasmine and spices 
then it has uh, in the base it has tonka bean musk sandalwood orchid and woodsy notes it's a very feminine perfume to me it's very grown woman very feminine and for the price this is worth having and i know i know i'm going to repurchase this perfume i just feel like i just need it so for you girls who don't like uh, very floral perfumes but want to start getting into the florals this is one i would say you can still try and for the price there's no harm and the fact that it lasts more than five hours and it's a celebrity perfume and it smells very expensive it's feminine it's elegant it's everything that you want i would wear this just for the office setting i wouldn't wear it going out for field work or i would also wear this even to church like it's that good so that's kim kardashian by kim kardashian and the fourth perfume on this list is for the gourmand lovers and the classic la via belle so I know you'd say, how is La Vie Belle perfect for the office? So La Vie Belle for me is perfect for the office in winter. And also depending on how much you spray, I've been wearing this to work like all oh, winter. Just look at how much the dent is in there because it just became a staple and it got me compliments, you guys. Like when I sprayed, I'd spray maybe eight to 10 sprays, obviously mostly on my skin and it would project so much off my skin. Like this one time when I went for work, I was the only one in the office that day. Then one of my colleagues came through and then it had filled up the room. At first, I was even feeling uncomfortable, but when she walked in, she's like, oh, it smells so good in here. So that's how good La Vie Belle is. It's very likable. And the good thing is that it just projects very loudly for the first hour or two, and then it just settles in and becomes uh, very uh, moderate. It's not a skin scent. It never becomes a skin scent on me. And then it will last you the entire work shift. This lasts on me for eight hours straight, and I'm not kidding. And for winter, I would say only wear it in winter. I wouldn't wear it in summer because I had minis of La Vie Belle, and when I wore it a lot in uh, summer, it, it just became overwhelming for my nose. So that's that with this one. And with La Vie Belle, you can wear it everywhere. This is easily a signature scent, especially for you guys who live like in uh, cooler uh, climates. I, you can easily make this one your signature scent. So, and the price to me is justified because you're not going to run through it so fast because it's very uh, potent. So that's La Vie Belle by Lancome. And the fifth perfume is another floral perfume that is perfect for summer and that is Flora Botanica. This is a perfume that I thought I would run through by now because it's very fresh and it's got this, it's a fresh floral perfume and I thought it wouldn't last long on me but this is one of my long lasting perfumes and it's a summer staple for me. I just can't imagine my life without it. It's very fresh, floral, a bit earthy. It just smells very likable. It has the cannabis note in here that only comes off on my skin in extreme temperature. Like um, after 30, beyond 30, to 30 degrees, the cannabis note comes out. It just projects from my skin. The first time I smelled the cannabis note, I, I kept wondering what is that that I'm sniffing and I don't know about you guys but I'm that person who can be sniffing something maybe it's even on my skin but it would take a while for me to actually just point it out and say oh my god it's actually me so this is a very nice summery perfume so I'd say you can wear it all year round if you want it for a signature scent but for me it's one that I, I wear for work in summer it lasts for eight hours on me and i overspray i sprayed on my skin a bit on my clothes and it lasts it lasts the whole time and it will get you compliments it got me compliments i so i really like this perfume and it's perfect for any work setting to me you can wear it everywhere you can wear it for field work you can wear it in the office i don't know what you, you guys do but i feel like this is a perfume that um 
can be worn by almost everyone and i'm also a healthcare worker so when on days when i know that i'm going to, to the hospital i would rather wear this one so that's flora botanica by balenciaga and the sixth perfume is for my fellow pretty lovers and that is girl of now forever by elisab so you guys I, I even feel guilty putting this perfume on this list because it's one perfume that I keep talking about since I got it and I, I know you're tired but I, I can't help it. This one and Beverly Hair, they're just, they're top, top two. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Girl of Now Forever is very fruity, sweet, it's a bit nutty, it's everything that Girl of Now is except that it's fruitier and better for me so it's a perfume that you can wear all year round and if you're looking for a very long lasting perfume for summer i would say and you're a, a woman who loves um fruity perfumes i'd say go for girl of now forever and if you can't stand uh, girl of now the original i'd still say you should try girl of now forever because it's generally likable this can be one as i mentioned all year round it's for that fun loving uh working class woman and it will get a compliment and it fills a room <laughs> not in a very bad way like it won't be too offensive people it leaves a trail on my skin like if i'm wearing it and i find that men really love the smell of this so it can be worn in any setting i don't imagine people really hating it expect unless people who don't like uh, fruity perfumes and they wouldn't like it on themselves but i wouldn't imagine someone hating this off of someone else and the price point is very good for this perfume it's a designer perfume and for the the longevity the quality and everything that you're getting it is worth the price so that is go now forever by Ellie Saab. So I'm only remaining with four perfumes on this list and the remaining four are all affordable perfumes. They're all beautiful yet of high quality. And uh, the, the perfume I'm going to talk about next is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I've also mentioned this one on my channel too much, but it's a very nice perfume. It's a lavender uh, perfume. It's got some... Uh, wood the notes to it it's also powdery it's very comforting and it's got mask so if you like uh, a comforting perfume that's good mask it's powdery it's grown woman I wouldn't also imagine this being worn by anyone less than um, maybe 25 because it just screams I'm a grown woman who's got my thing together and this is an appropriate perfume for an office setting i think if you wear it anywhere else you come off a bit too soft <laughs> and it lasts pretty well it's not as, as strong as the other ones i've spoken about so far but you get a good five hours out of it and if you have got a smaller bottle you can easily just carry it along mine is a 200 ml bottle and look where we are i really just love this perfume so lovely lovely to me can be worn all year round and uh the good thing is it's cheap you can wear it anywhere anytime and you can buy it for cheap it you can get this big bottle of maybe for even less than 25 pounds so it's worth it if you're looking for something affordable yet classy and sophisticated then lovely is the perfume for you and the eighth perfume on this list is another perfume that I, I even feel guilty talking about but I wouldn't be fair to you guys if I didn't mention it and that is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. So this is a fruity, powdery, woodsy uh, perfume and the top notes of this perfume are blackberry, plum, uh, currant buds, it's got orchid in the middle, rose and violet, then in the base it's got uh, woodsy notes, vanilla and sandalwood. So this is likeable. It's not a perfume that projects very much and it's my backpack perfume currently. I move with it in my backpack because it's easy to just 
spray like if i'm wearing a different perfume in the morning then i need something to just top up i easily reach for this it's very sweet yet fresh a bit woodsy a bit powdery very likable it doesn't project too much on my skin but it's very long lasting you can get up to six hours on my skin and each time i'm wearing this perfume and i hug someone or they come too close to me i get compliments and that's the reason i'm on my second bottle of this i i don't know if i will purchase this because i've worn it too much and i feel like because my co my collection has grown so much i'm starting to have uh, perfumes that s smell too similar to each other like this one uh smells quite similar to la vie belle so for the price point if you can't afford a la vie belle you can easily get this one it smells good it really just smells good and it can be worn everywhere anywhere anytime all year round so that's sophia by sophia vergara on the ninth position we have not that it's any less uh, important we have something for the vanilla lovers and this this is uh once by d square so once is a perfume i really love you can see from how much i've used of it it's one perfume that i reach for when i'm i know i'm going to be in a vehicle and i'm going to share like uh, i'll be in very close spaces with people it's very easily likable it's got vanilla it's got woods in it it's a perfume that just is not offensive it lasts very long but it doesn't project too much on my skin and the vanilla in here is not a basic vanilla vanilla can come off too sweet in most perfumes and the sweetness of that such vanilla just comes off a bit too cheap but the woods in this vanilla just makes it so easily likable and it smells sophisticated that is in my opinion so one has top notes of ginger pink pepper mandarin orange it has middle notes of heliotrope damask rose neroli uh, base notes of madagascar vanilla vanilla absolute and uh, woods notes so yes i also forgot to mention that it's also a bit spicy but not spicy in in that it will offend people i have other spicy perfumes that are really too spicy but the spices in this vanilla and the woods just match so well it lasts for me on my skin it lasts up to uh, six hours and the price before it got discontinued i believe it was very cheap and if i could find this and for a good price i would buy it so for me if you know you are going to be in close proximity with other people i would say this is the perfect scent it will not offend them they'll just smell like oh this woman just smells good and she smells classy and expensive so that's one for me so that's the ninth one and last on this list we have justin bieber the key so i've worn this perfume twice and i'm pretty impressed by the fact that justin bieber didn't go and get the sweetest thing <laughs> to give us as a perfume it's sweet yes and it's a bit floral but it's good and it's fresh so this uh has top notes of pear um boyacin berry i don't know how you pronounce that mandarin orange or samanthus then in the middle we have peach water lily and uh, pink jasmine then the base we have musk vanilla raspberry and woods and nuts so this is perfect for any age group you you heard me mention that there are other perfumes that are more appropriate for older uh, women maybe 2021 20, going up but this is perfect for any woman of any age and even a guy if you like uh perfumes that smell like this because it's just sweet it's a bit fresh a bit woozy fruity easily likable and easily likable scent you can wear it all year round and this one is the one perfume that i really just need to overspray. like i need to heat my clothes and i need to spray so much on my skin for me to get that five hour uh, mark 
of longevity and it doesn't project too much it's this perfume got a lot of hype on youtube i love the bottle i i'm glad i have it and it's perfect for work especially that we're getting into summer so i'll be wearing this a lot but it's not a perfume that i would repurchase i don't think it is a must have it's where if you've got a large collection it's maybe for someone maybe you see it by chance you just grab it and that's it so that's justin bieber the key so guys uh thank you for watching my video and i really appreciate the support uh let me know what are you guys wearing for work what other um perfumes would you recommend based on my collection um basically the collection for work so i'll see you guys in the next one and i'll keep posting every monday at noon central african time thank you